Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Ecopy Season 7. So I decided to do the one video right before the Meteor Shootdown by just looking a few other locations as I mentioned in previous episodes. And before we go for the tour, I just wanted to say that some people have been mentioning that they, are, they have seen those two logos but they didn't know how to do it. So, so I made a small tutorial under my archway here. I still have plans to change the shop because I don't like this corner. I'm not sure why the game has this type of fault. It would be nice if it was solid, but well, anyway, I will change it. So I did take up new skill for uh, for glass working, so I can make all my glass myself. It will simplify a lot of process, and I can also use up more of the materials. Because yeah. I do have plenty of sand and now I have also limestone so so yeah but anyway I will head out and we'll see a few locations and maybe before we can even take a look on on the Sov's new location that he has built I mean we can use the lift to come up so so I will just hop in and show what he made before he went for a few days of break with his son so so yeah, he dug out this long hole, made the lights inside, just to have a small room under the ocean. Does look quite nice. And yeah, quite good view outside. Of course now it's night time, so, so it's kind of calm. Yeah, on the distance we can see many sharks, one closer. So yeah, quite nice build right under the like next to the shipyard so yeah and also uh, he was asking like what else to build so i recommended maybe another ship on the other pier so once he's back he might try to do something so we'll see but yeah anyway i will head to one of the first locations i wanted to take a look at before we continue at the area where I kind of ended the last episode, so I will see you there. So the first sightseeing place I decided to stop by is the Mrs. Belmont's new house. So before the store was in one of those buildings, but it has moved and many other changes have happened. And I can see this nice fountain as well. It's always good to see. So let's take a quick look to see what is here so this is the Claire Choice Glassworks so just a production facility I have one of those in my building now as well I did quite a lot of modification myself to make it happen but here is two on one floor two more on the second floor so yeah quite decent production and next door is of course the garage at the park all the trucks they kind of like uh, the way it's built it's a kind of modern housing look again so this is one of the style that many people try yeah. here probably we need some extra pieces to make it fit better but yeah just to have like some something in front of the windows what's here okay so let's see inside. So it's it's kind of like a factory building, half built, needs few more pieces. So from outside it looks more like residential, but I can see that it's not, unless there's something hidden upstairs. So yeah, staircase up. Second floor, it has the item mover here. Again, many pieces of the wall missing. And if we go even further, smaller rooms, and yeah, unfortunately not finished, but it kind of, from outside it gives a lot of promise, and it looks quite good, so I hope that uh, uh, they will be able to finish it off before we finish the season. Except from outside it looks fantastic, it's one of the best builds this season, but yeah, so for the next task, I will go all the way down next to the master's place, 
we can take a quick look of that location and then uh, then we can go from there so just very quick look on what moss has changed i'm not sure if there's that much as he hasn't been too active online but he has been quite busy with some other tasks and i can see that there is not much work as the trees are already growing through the yeah, kitchen is still really empty but i do like uh, the way he has built everything it's it's kind of unique styling so on this side the living room well pretty much as it was before so can don't really see many changes so my memory can also be a little bit vague about things and yeah the back rooms there is seem to be kind of empty so nothing inside so hopefully he can still build a little bit before end of the season because yeah only the bars from here is finished so yeah I, I really hope that he has a little bit time to do some building because at first I thought that it's one of those stuffed animals but no a real link moving here so yeah I know his styling is good so it would be nice to see fully finished variant as well but yeah what I also heard is that the church is finally finished so I definitely want to go and take a look so it now has all the candles inside and uh, and the seating and everything so yeah from the front side it looks quite massive and unique and I even like how the doors have been stacked up to make it more like a real uh, church door because those are huge so kind of clever idea I didn't really think about it myself and yeah inside there's like all the candles everywhere and the seating so it does really look like real church so yeah, quite well made on that aspect yeah limestone all around wood in the middle so yeah you can see someone giving lecture just in front of everyone so a yeah, really good build i i definitely do like it and yeah the game does need few special pieces to make the fence on on the upper floor not to go overhang but yeah it's an amazing build so yeah and two fire blitzes also working on the back sides giving the more warmth when the cold air comes through the doors smart so next to that i did mention that i wanted to take a slight look on those buildings here so first building is of course closed from this side and people do try to close the doors so i will probably start with the happy cow cooking because they have really nice waterfall right here so it comes very long way by the aqueduct and they also use it for getting the water inside the building so where does it even start it's quite long way through the jungle Of course, I will end up falling in and <laughs> having trouble moving. Okay, so it comes from this small bond up here. And yeah, so quite good use of aqueducts. It works well and looks nice. So well done. Yeah, inside, well, all the doors seem to be closed again. So I might need to go and fly through to see bit more inside you said there's no cheeky hidden places and this is quite good placement of the water pump as it kind of goes inside the roof parts so yeah let me quickly start flying and we can take a proper tour on those buildings so let's go in from this door I need to be quite careful I would like the fly to be well 
much slower so it's really quick i understand if i press the shift it will be quick but but yeah the standard is a bit too much in my opinion so yeah there's a lot of stuff inside like storage for foods and meats which are able and store in this corner and like seems more like housing corner over here At uh, same time it's not close so it doesn't recognize it as such from here is white big kitchen so yeah it looks like some really big restaurants making their foods in this area so all the uh, stoves have the have the chimneys connected and here is also the laboratory so it needs the water going through that's also why the piping yeah on this place i think it might be even easier to just route it through there looks a bit better then garage that unfortunately is empty at the moment there seems to be some trap door to go upstairs where we find the truck so interesting enough the truck decided to go uh, into the living space maybe it was too cold in the garage but yeah the living quarters look quite nice as well so mixture of different materials different uh, ashla yeah quite nice uh, the bedroom has a lot of hidden spaces yeah it's decent it's really cozy so so definitely suitable i prefer a smaller bedroom than bigger one bathroom has everything you might need and also a little bit empty space but it's exactly what you would expect from those places then here is the staircase so downstairs it will go into the kitchen area and if we go upstairs yeah i'm not sure why i'm trying to follow the staircase like like i'm walking so upstairs there's another bathroom quite nice living room and then here is small bedroom and this view from here is quite good you can see the church and the gardens around the church it's really good view so i think the land value is quite high and yeah so that's all this floor so i will just jump out and we can see well the next building that we have so this seems to be like some type of brick factory by marcus downstairs is quite big mine and after that the next building seems to have kitchen then small gap and then older style building where is the uh, shop for sands i have bought few things here myself before and what is upstairs okay this section is just staircase and goes all the way to big kitchen upstairs before that is living room which is quite cozy it has two different types of fireplaces both working some decorations a few windows yeah here is of course more windows so can't really compare then bathroom so it's good to have like on second floor so no one is peeking in it probably needs one dodge over here there's none bit too spacious for for good bathroom but well we'll do bedroom it's a little bit strange bedroom because well i wouldn't expect bedroom to have two stores inside so it can be a little bit noisy and lack of privacy but well if people like it then well they like it what can i do i'm not going to charge on that so yeah quite quite unique building and 
actually I didn't check outside on the top floor so from the kitchen they have balcony and balcony has two plants so this balcony goes over the uh, the street so it could be removed by anyone but happily people are nice and not doing that so yeah it can stay here so yeah, it gives a little bit difference to the main road network so yeah there's actually one more place i want to visit so so i will head there and let's see what it looks like so the final location is the tower that will and swam have built which is made out of glass but before we even go and investigate that unique tower there is another tower that actually has really strange name which is Talonara's Tower of Tent Trauma and I don't think it's only causing a lot of issues to Talonara I also feel uh, negatively impacted by that because well there are a lot of tents on top of each other and it's it's not nice uh, I feel that at least one of the admins might want to go and smite all of that as it's it's really not what we want to see yeah I feel that uh, we need some type of more to recycle all the tents because they are unnecessary in general but yeah coming to the tower well we can use the lift which is always good but yeah going inside is a little bit limited so let's see what we can see we start with quite decent bathroom I mean it does have like glass everywhere so it's not as private as you would want it to be and the other bathroom as well so very unique style so you can see pretty much everything so, a little bit concerning let's go to the next floor so on this floor of course the doors seem to be closed the other side as well yeah so those are the living quarters so as this is being closed i think we will go through the other way so let me quickly enable that option because it's always easier to see when you're inside so it's kind of like ram backed in this corner to different uh, fireplaces this one is a little bit hazardous because it's next to the couch and i don't want the couch to really catch fire in real life the other one has a small fountain and it kind of limits the seating space but i mean it does give the xp so it probably is fine now the next floor is bedroom floor I would wish the bed was next to this wall, more likely. But yeah, it, it is still not the most comfortable in my opinion. Maybe just because I prefer privacy. But yeah, the other bedroom as well. I mean, it's a little bit scary to wake up in the morning and look down many, many stories. And now... And upstairs they have the kitchen which is also cramped packed so it would be nice if they had built much wider tower on that but still it's kind of unique build so so creativity is always good and it can be used to uh, plan for coming projects and then on top of the roof they have just a small viewing platform two windmills and a crane so so all in all it looks quite nice just yeah living inside in reality sake maybe not so much but yeah so i hope to see you in the next episode where we are supposed to shoot down the meteor i really hope that uh, everyone has built the necessary things for that so if everything is ready then we can complete that and well then we can take more look around the server and see what else we can build before the season ends. 
But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.